Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are working on kind of, oh thank you Kaylee, kind of like a really informal grocery haul. And I'll explain why it's really informal. So I do grocery delivery through Instacart. I'll go ahead and leave a link down below if you want to um, get, I think it's like $10 off or something like that. I don't get anything if you sign up or anything. So like I'm not telling you to sign up so I get anything for free but we do the delivery service. And they basically deliver it to my front door, which is right down these stairs. And it looks like this. Whenever I get Aldi, um, you don't really get bags. They have some paper bags. You can pay for these plastic bags that I have hanging here, or you can have things put into boxes. And basically I bring them upstairs and I just throw them here and the kids take everything out of the boxes and sometimes I like to put things away. As you can see, the dogs sort through them. Rocky has actually grabbed stuff out of these boxes and eaten through containers to eat food in there, haven't you? Yes, you have. So anyway, I'm going to try to show you what I order. We do a large grocery order just about every Friday because Danny gets paid on Fridays and then I get paid the following Friday. And I don't know how I ended up with a whole thing of onions. Oh jeez. I thought I was ordering a single onion and I've got two bags of onions. So we're gonna be using a lot of onions. Thank you, Kaylee. That was so helpful of you. So let's go ahead and I will show you what I've gotten. I always throw the boxes. I throw the boxes like down the stairs and then take them outside. <laughs> Upsies. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Go, Kate, go. You can. <laughs> okay. So the very first thing I have over here is this one. And the reason that this is here is because it has eggs in it. And I do not want my children throwing the eggs out. So I have eggs and I'm going to be putting the eggs in the fridge. I usually try to get a couple different kinds of fruit. And so right now they had some grapes for Danny. The girls won't eat the grapes usually, but I got the grapes for Danny because they were on sale for like a dollar 10 or something per pound, which is crazy. And then I also get a lot of these, which I already have in there, but I don't know what that was. I take those to work with me and the girls absolutely love them. So let's see what other fruit is out here. All right, so as far as the fruits, I think I just got one more of these because I'm actually doing really well as far as fruit goes. But I got some peppers, some um, asparagus, and some spinach. I make sandwiches out of these. I'm going to be doing sausage and peppers with these. I just always like to do asparagus as a side. And then I thought I was getting two onions, but I guess I ordered two bags of onions. And then we also get these calzones. Let me show you these. These are so good. So these are the calzones. They're about two dollars each. But crazy cool. They're about two dollars each. You can bake them or microwave them. And so I just got a couple of those. They're super easy. These are super easy for Danny to make during the week with the kids. So we get a couple of those. These aren't always in stock, so it's rare that we actually get all the ones that we've requested. But there they are. I guess next I'll show you the different kinds of snacks we got because Kaylee is really wanting to eat these. So I'll show you our snacks. So here are the basically peanut butter and cheese crackers. Yeah, toasted cheese crackers is what they're called. So we have some tortilla chips because we're having a taco night. I got some of these hoping the kids might like them, but we'll see. So this is all cheese. I plan on doing a lot of things with cheese. So I have the smoked Gouda, which is amazing if you make a um, mac and cheese out of it. And like I said, we're doing tacos, so I got this. The kids love, 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 love string cheese. We're gonna be making some sandwiches, so we needed some sliced provolone. And then I've also got Italian style cheese, mozzarella cheese, because I plan on doing some sort of, um, yeah, mommy. thank you, Maddie. I plan on doing some sort of, um, like casserole, lasagna type deal, as well as the sausage and peppers, which is also what the onions are for. Um, so I need a lot of Italian and mozzarella cheese for that. 
And then I just got an extra thing of Mexican cheese because I really like to make a, um, like a lettuce wrap basically, but it has avocado and tomatoes in it and Mexican cheese and then like a chipotle um, ranch kind of dressing. So I put this inside of the wrap instead of doing something like the sliced provolone. I just think it works so much better with shredded. You are being very loud. Here are some of the breads we get. We get a brioche bun. These are absolutely delicious. Okay, can you guys tell that my kids love grocery delivery day? Anyway, brioche buns, we will um, make egg sandwiches on some of them, so, so good, and hamburgers on another one. And then we get Omarosa rolls. These are fabulous. If you've never had Omarosa rolls, I am sorry. They are from Philadelphia. I am from Philadelphia, so this is like ingrained in me. What are they doing? Um, so we can do subs on these. We'll do sausages, um, cheese steaks, and then I also got the smaller ones. So these are like little guys. So they're you know, this big where these guys are like full size. That way we've got a couple different options. These are also good if you want to do like a scrambled egg sandwich or something. So, so good. And then, I think the kids took it. We've got a French baguette so I can make some bruschetta. And this doesn't really count as a bread, I guess. I mean, I guess it kind of does. The flour tortillas for our tacos. And I already have normal taco shells, so I didn't have to order them. So those are our breads for this order. Next, I'll go ahead and show you some of the meats that I got. Now, I am a vegetarian, so I'll show you what I got, but this is all for Danny and the girls. We got ribs. These ribs are bone in ribs. And um, I will put them in my crock pot. I have my crock pot stash up here. This guy is a casserole dish and it will fit this. I might have to cut it in half, but it'll fit this and I can crock pot this while I'm at work. And yeah, that is pretty much that. And that'll feed the girls. You probably won't eat this, but this will feed Danny or um, I'm really I really like making these when we have company because it's super, super easy. So if we have like family or friends coming over, I'll put those on. We always, 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 always get an order of bacon. I make big breakfasts on Saturday and Sunday. So we'll go through maybe almost a whole thing of bacon over the weekend. And then if I have um, any of my classes cancel really early in the morning before I start regular school hours, then I will make the kids some bacon and I don't know where I'm gonna put all of my meats because clearly I have enough already. This is a tomato basil seasoned chicken. I have never seen this at Aldi before, so I'm kind of excited for Danny to try it. And again, I'll just crock pot that and we'll see how it turns out. These are turkey jalapeno smoked sausages. I told Danny that I was getting lots and lots of sausages pork tenderloin. This is not the one I ordered. They were out and so the person that was doing my shopping replaced it with this, which I'm fine with and likes that too. So heavy. Hot dogs. We always like hot dogs. So heavy. Maddie's bringing over almond milk. Thank you, Maddie. Um, that's it for this pile. Um, I do want to show you I've got my meatless Italian sausage for when I do sausage and peppers. And I also have my meatless hot dog for if I'm around when they have the hot dog. I know it's so heavy, Maddie. Thank <laughs> you. Like I said, this is a really, really informal video. Look at this. So, sorry that this is so informal. They are still going to town over here. It is insane. For some frozen stuff, I've got regular seasoned fries, potato fries, steak fries, ice cream, and jalapeno poppers. For drinks, I have orange juice, vanilla almond milk, and two things of chocolate almond milk, and these fruit punch, they're kind of like Capri Sun pouches. Um, it kind of depends by week what I get. We always have orange juice, vanilla almond milk, chocolate almond milk, and these. Um, the girls really like chocolate almond milk, and then I use a combination of vanilla and chocolate with my protein shakes that I have from Arbonne. Yummy! It's yummy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I will mix two scoops of this with my um, cup, my shake cup, which currently has, just has water in it, um, up to here. Add two scoops of this and some instant coffee, um, which I also get at Aldi's. I've had a couple people ask me about the instant coffee. This is the instant coffee I have um, that I get from Aldi's as well. 
So I always get enough of this to last me and the girls a full week. And then they also love to have these with lunch. So now I have to try to sort through the rest of this. We had four Lunchables, one already got put away. This is just really easy for Danny to make during the week while I'm at work. Um, and then we've got canned stuff. So I've got a bunch of different canned items. These are all things that I have plans for this week. I guess that counts as a canned item um, between the different pasta dishes I am making, um, which obviously you can tell I'm going to be making a lot of things with tomatoes and sauces. So this is all for the sausage and peppers and this as well for, um, yeah, ice cream. Um, oh my gosh, I can't get all of it. There we go. And this as well. So these are all things that I have plans for this week for dinner, which is all basically going to be crock pot dinners. Here's another one. Um, oh, Maddie. This is for the ribs that I'm making. And then I ran out of ranch dressing for the sandwiches that I make. So this is kind of like our canned and bottled section. <laughs> Danny said the girls have really been not liking Cheerios recently. So I thought I would try these, you know, kind of like Fruit Loops. Um, he requested Pop-Tarts. The girls also really like Pop-Tarts. Sour cream for when I make tacos. Mm -hmm. We've got a bunch of different types of applesauce. I love girls, applesauce! I was just going to say, the girls love applesauce. I, I do love applesauce. always get some plates to use just for easy, quick cleanup. This is a snack for Danny. Some macaroni. I told you that I was going to be looking for macaroni. So I had to get some animal crackers today. And of course, the girls' animal favorite. Crackers. The girls' favorite cookies. You love those. Yeah, that's your favorite. Mm -hmm. Woo, that's a lot. Well, guys, I think I've made it through everything. I think. Oh, there is one more thing over here. Hummus. <laughs> Just straight up roasted red pepper hummus. And I am incredibly sorry for the obnoxious shrieking that my children have been doing this entire video. So hopefully you've made it through this whole video. You can cheers with me for some straight up orange juice. There's nothing in it. There probably should be, but that's okay. Here's to mom of three under 30 with three under three. There we go. Grocery haul. That is it. Family of five. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Say thumbs up. Thumbs up. We're going to keep putting these groceries away. What is on my forehead? I don't know. And I will see you guys in the next one.